What's happening, crypto fam? Happy, happy Monday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott and it's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content, so thank you. And this morning, I want to talk a little bit on digital IDs, just briefly. It should only be a short video, I've got to get to work. So briefly, I want to talk about digital IDs. There's a lot of talk lately, especially with the US election, about voting on blockchains. I mean, there's a lot of talk that it's actually been done on blockchain and these pieces of paper for the blockchain and blah, blah, blah. What a load of tosh. What a load of absolute tosh. Uh, watching a video of Tom Vase the other day, and surprisingly, he, he, he actually had a good point about... Uh, I, I, where did I see that video? Because I wasn't watching it. Someone else was watching it and I looked at it. It was Emre at the unit. So Emre's watching his video and I heard him about blockchain in voting and blockchain being immutable and once it, once once the document or information and data is on the blockchain it's immutable blah 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 but the the, the initial information still has to be genuine do you know what i mean it has to be genuine it has to be we have, it has to be trustless as they say so we know we can trust it without knowing too much about it is kind of what trustless means really but the be all and end all of it, it comes down to digital IDs on digital devices. So, all your electronic devices, you'll have a digital ID across them all in the end. They'll be, we'll all go on the apps to vote for whatever we want to vote for. And you'll have, the phone will verify and KYC the voter. Just will. Now, <clears throat> But I've said for, 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 for a long time now that the banks and the governments will likely come together with like the passport office and make this a full-on digital passport, not just an ID. But Spanish banks lead the development of blockchain-based digital ID model. Ten leading Spanish companies, including Santander, Libra Bank, Bankia, Kiaxa Bank and BME, are planning to roll out a self-managed digital identity model using blockchain technology. The project known as Dalion has completed the concept test, land, uh, lending to a second phase round of development and testing within the aim of rolling out the product in a live production environment for May 2021. So digital IDs by May 2021. Do you know what I mean? Self-managed identity enables people to have their personal data in a single digital identity backed by the companies involved and stored. Interesting. Backed by the companies involved and stored on their own mobile device. As users may decide who to share data with at any time with no need to fill in tedious forms. For example, they may use their data validated by other organizations to hire a car, take out insurance, or arrange a loan in just a few clicks. A vote. The project is based on the Atlanta digital identity model. Uh, Alastra, sorry. I thought I said Atlanta. Uh, Alastra. Which uses Ethereum and Quorum blockchain infrastructure to handle the transfer of user IDs between the participating organization. Alasha is a multi-sector Spanish consortium composed of 600 partners, including large companies, SMEs, public authorities, and academic institutions. Interesting. May 2021, eh? <clears throat> so until we have stuff like that across the board, you can't really... You can't really guarantee, you can't confirm, you can't verify that the person on the other end of the device is who they actually say they are. We're gonna put a lot of trust in devices. It's, we're getting to the point where we've gone from fearing devices, Terminator style, I know some of you are still scared of Skynet and shit. We're not that far yet. We're getting to a point now where we trust mathematics, algorithms, and electronic devices to perform stuff for us than we do a human. We'll trust it more. There's only a few of us, but as the industry grows, more people will wake up to like, look, the f there is no human error in an algorithm. Once it's written 
and, it, and it's right, <laughs> it just does it. Because all the Brexit bullshit still going on and all that. Now, imagine that was on an immutable blockchain system designed to be put through, <coughs> excuse me, by algorithms and computers. When it came to it the other year, there'd have been no old oh, postponing it, postponing it, postponing it, postponing it. We're taking the piss, we're doing this, we're taking the piss, we're doing this, and we're postponing it, postponing it. No, the, the computers, the algorithms, the blockchain, they just put it through like that, boom. People voted for that. I've got the power to do it. Boom, it's done. Get fucked, politicians, you knobheads. Brown envelope's gone, bro. Yeah. All them perks she was getting, taking the piss, is gone, bro. Algorithms in charge now, dickhead. Right? It's the thing people don't realise. Oh, I'm not having a fucking digital ID. You're getting tracked. <laughs> what if Boris Johnson's tracked as well? He'll have a digital ID. People should be able to see his, 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 his government spending, how much is he spending on expenses and all that. That should all be public. Should be public. <clears throat> what he spends on expenses you should be able to see every single fucking receipt and I'm not joking every single fucking receipt um, fucking hell I ended up on a stiff, different fucking story here now Because then there's that Japanese smart city mate look to use a blockchain voting solution what we saw the other, the other week. The Japanese blockchain firm Layer X has said it's working with local governments on possible blockchain voting si si solutions. As the country continues to look for IT powered ways to reduce face to face contact and administer processes. Now we've, we, we, we spoke about this the other week and, it, and it's still at the forefront. <clears throat> Blockchain industry players still do not agree on the uh, viability of blockchain-powered voting. Nevertheless, it's gaining traction in some nations, including Russia, where it will be used at a number of tested sites, uh, testbed sites in the next year's legit uh, legislative general elections. So the Japanese layer X. State Japanese law already allows for the use of electronic voting in exceptional circumstances. It added that it's developed an electronic voting protocol that provides both transparency for the ballot counting process and also preserves voter confidentiality using unique innovation that make use of blockchain technology. So the blockchain can even not tell people who you are when you voted. I mean, I just tell people what's what's the big deal about people not telling other people who they voted for? And they just tell me, voted for them. I'm what? Sh fucking hell. This is what society's got us like. Society's got us so fucked up, we don't even want to have proper conversations anymore. We have small talk, which is bullshit. Are you alright, mate? Yeah, I'm alright, you, yeah. When you have to go to last night, Dude, did last night. Fucking did last night. I don't, you, don't, you don't care, so stop fucking asking. I can't be asked, so I'm not fucking saying. Let's start talking about some of the actually fucking matters and not what I had for me tea last night, you fucking dick. Jesus Christ. Do you know, do you know what I mean? So the confidentiality, eh, it's up for debate that. If people want it, have it. Blockchain provides it. it can, we can still verify that it was a legitimate person and have not double voted or the dead person's not voted and stuff like that without knowing who's actually voted for what, I guess. Well, people don't want people to know they voted Labour or Tories or, or Brexit party. I voted Brexit party. Oh, fucking hell. Don't tell people you voted it. Fucking weird. Weird. Saying about the screen. New phone, mate. <laughs> Not broke anymore. I mean, Spanish. Talking about the IDs. That will flip to voting in a heartbeat. A Japanese talking about voting. Voting on the blockchain. On the blockchain. <laughs>
So what's that there? Let, 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 let me see this one. Two hours ago. Blockchain voting risks undetectable nation scale failures. MIT researchers. A key goal of an election is to prove to the losing party that they did in fact lose. Well, that's a really hard problem to solve electronically. Claims that voting on a blockchain would increase election security have been found wanting and even dubbed misleading by researchers from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. In the paper, going from bad to worse, from internet voting to blockchain voting. Published on Monday, they wrote that the internet and blockchain-based voting would greatly increase the risk of undetectable nation-scale election failures. I haven't yet seen a blockchain system that I would trust with a counterfeit jelly bean count, much less a presidential election, said the senior author, Institute Professor Ron Rivest of MIT's renowned computer science artificial intelligence laboratory. Rivest is best known as the R in the RSA encryption algorithm. The paper analyzes the, and systemizes previous research on the security risk of voting systems, both online and offline, and comes to a clear conclusion. Blockchain technology doesn't solve the fundamental security problems suffered by all electronic voting systems and may introduce even more problems, the researchers wrote. May, 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 kind of, kind of, kind of fucking, kind of papers this, scientific paper, oh, it might do that. I'll tell you what, put your pen down, mate, is it, uh, uh, save yourself a little bit of time, because we don't want might, might not, and might do. Go and get yourself some fucking tests, do some fucking tests, and then come back. You fucking might if if some what shoulda woulda coulda means you're out of fucking time, mate. So fuck off. Jesus wept. Blockchain solutions are ripe for what they call serious failures. These are situations where election results might have been changed, either through error or by an attacker. The change might be undetectable or even it's detected. Right. So what happens if the postman throws the mail-in votes away? Don't talk like it's not better. I don't care if it has its flaws. Right? I don't care if it has minor flaws. Oh, someone might attack it. Well, someone might fucking rob your mail-in ballots, mate. Someone might rub them out and change them. No shit, we do it in pencil X's, unless you take a marker we are. Someone might rub my pencil out and change my vote. How the fucking hell can you prove that's not happening? Mate, put your fucking pen down, professor. Right? You, you, you've had a bit too much of whatever you're fucking smoking, bro. Some of this fucking army A's here, mate. It's like, you know. <sighs> Exposing our election six systems to such serious failures is too high a price to pay for the convenience of voting from your phones. No. Mailing in fucking ballots is ridiculous in 2020. Like that, that. How old this guy? About 75. I don't like to judge and, and discriminate on age, but I'm sorry, but all these old motherfuckers need to move out of the way and let us actually go into the future. We're going to fucking live in. Not them. I don't give a shit. Are the people who die in, in the next 10 years, I, this is going to lack a bit of empathy and compassion, but it ain't about you. It ain't about you. I might die in five, six years. It might not be about me. I might die this morning in my car on the motorway. Who knows? We actually don't fucking know, right? So, in the end, it's better than the current system, that voting fucking bullshit, mailing votes. So let me know what you think in the comments. You know the script. Invest in yourself, invest in your hobbies, the internet of value, wishing health and happiness to you and yours. Live long and oddle it, all till you're ready to let it go. And I'm off to work. Um, we love crypto, we love the internet of value and we love you. Peace out, say.